Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Premium Tech Century and tonight I want to talk about Time Machine. So earlier tonight on Twitter we had some questions coming up from M. Kwan and Harry about Time Machine, especially at the launch of Mountain Lion. And so in this video I'm going to show you why Time Machine has become pretty much one of my favorite apps in the Mac OS, but also how to use it to its full potential for once with the Migration Assistant, but also how to recover specific files and applications after you upgraded your OS. So for example, if you made a backup before upgrading to Mountain Lion, how you can just recover specific applications and files from there. All right, so here we are. And the first thing that you wanna do is just connect your backup drive. In this case, this is the drive right here. and then we'll see it up here in the finder in a second. So the drive is spinning up and this is my backup drive from my iMac as well as my previous MacBook Air. So we see right here, the iMac drive is right there, the iMac backup. And so what we're gonna do now is typing into Spotlight, just Migration Assistant, that's coming up, just hit enter. So here we see that Migration Assistant can help us with various needs. So for example, we can recover user accounts, we can also recover applications, we can also recover network and computer setting and also files. So this actually sounds great, but it isn't quite as great as it should be, or could be. So we'll just hit continue. And so you'll have to enter your administrator password. And so right here, we'll choose from a time machine backup that we just connected then next on continue. And then we see right here on the hard drive itself, there's an iMac backup as well as the MacBook Air. So we choose the iMac first. And now it's calculating how many items there are and how many space is remaining. So here we already see that it's now calculating the size and I can already tell you the size will be pretty big, but there's actually no need in knowing how big they are because now we can see users, we can choose between the main user or also the kind of guest account for my girlfriend on my machine there. But here in the application, we see the first problem. So we can choose application or applications, but we either can just check it or uncheck it. So there isn't really an option for selecting just specific applications. And so you can only transfer the whole application suite and at least in my case, I had a lot of trash applications that were just building up over time. So I certainly don't want to have them on a new system. So that's why this pretty much isn't the best option. Then you can also transfer the settings like time zone machine and so on. And they're pretty much no brainer because they are really small file size, but other files, again, you can not select like what files you want to transfer. You can only select that you want to transfer all files and this pretty much messes up your whole new machine. So this isn't the best option. So this pretty much is kind of the limitation of Migration Assistant. It's great that it's there in the first place, but you just can't transfer specific applications, which pretty much sucks and really is kind of down for, for the Migration Assistant itself. But fortunately, there's a workaround for that. So for this, I'll switch over to my MacBook Pro to show you that it also works on a different OS version. All right, so now we are on my MacBook Pro and the backup from my iMac that you saw before was made on Snow Leopard. And now as you see right here, this machine is running line. So now we'll just plug in the backup drive again from my iMac. And again, this will show up in the finder in a second. So the hard drive is spinning up again and there's the backup right here. So now what we're gonna do is we are not using Migration Assistant. Instead, we're just typing back in here, Time Machine, hit enter. And now it asks you, you can set up a new backup disk or you can just use the previous uh, disk that you created. So we're gonna select use previous disk and then select my iMac. And now we're going into this time machine interface, which looks pretty nice. And this also shows the amount of detail that Apple puts into their software. On the right, we have this ping kind of background that's from Snow Leopard. 
on the left we have the background from line actually so this also even shows you that you have the different OS versions and so now we're gonna go back in time and now here we are so here's the Macintosh HD or we can also go to applications and now we are on the backup of the iMac and that's also why it takes a while because the external hard drive isn't the fastest but in a while so here it'll show all my applications that I have right here alright so I guess we'll just take an application that I haven't used before and this should be Skype on this machine so I'm just gonna select Skype of course you can also select more applications by just holding down command so if you know you will want all those applications you can just select them and so we just use Skype for now and then hit restore down here in the right corner and now it will put Skype or copy Skype right into the applications folder of our new machine the new MacBook Pro and there you see it works flawlessly and so all the files are there so now we can go to our applications folder and just select Skype and of course we have to accept the terms and everything and there it's running it's already installed so this works flawlessly with applications like Final Cut, iWork and so on. I had some issues with copying applications like Photoshop but that's just because they're very complex and they have a lot of files there but that also works if you have a little bit of patience but that's just how great Time Machine works and so this doesn't only work for the actual applications that you have in your backup but of course also for all the other files so I can just go back on time here so here Sebastian's iMac so we're just gonna go to Macintosh HD and there's everything you need so we're gonna go to user this is the main user this was my account and here we have everything documents music and so on so everything is here so for example the Amazon mp3 folder is right there and they will just see what I downloaded from Amazon right there which is great so you can just recover whatever you want so for example I can just recover the Jason Derulo album or the Kanye West album doesn't matter just hit restore and it will copy this file exactly in the same location on your new machine so this can happen what we have right here the folder doesn't exist in the original location that means that on the new MacBook Pro I don't have a location that's called Amazon MP3 so I can now just choose location and say okay I'm just gonna have it in music it doesn't have to be in this Amazon folder so I choose it and it will just copy the folder to music <clears throat> and it will be there in a second and so honestly Time Machine is really one of my favorite features if you have any questions about it I will be very glad to help I hope this answered the questions that I got on Twitter so if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content and besides that I just hope to see my next video thank you very much for watching